It is a problem that has plagued teenagers and adults for ages. But this form of substance abuse has arisen to international attention only recently. Here, we take an in-depth look at math addiction and its consequences. It's like a, a permanent hallucination. And what do you see? I'm really a functional math addict because I can get by with relatively low doses of math. Um, I don't actually see things, I, I feel them. See this? If I hold it up to my face where it's closer to my brain, I can actually feel, not see, that in an alternate reality it could be morphed into a Mobius strip. Hey, how many times this week? Three. To burn. No. Here, Valerie was rebuked for drawing flower-like sinusoids three times in class the past week. But now, we take an in-depth look at a more serious case of math addiction. Come on, Leanne, we can't have you being late for English again this week. Indeed, some students' cases of math addiction are so severe that they need faculty members to escort them from class to class so they do not get distracted by math. Remember how I told you I was going to have to frisk you next time? Oh my god. But there is a real light in their eyes, and we can't help but wonder if this math addiction is really such a bad thing. <laughs> 